This is a note. This is a bomb. And these are obstacles. Going on four years now, these three elements alone have been our only connection and expression between the player and the music. And they've done a pretty good job at doing so, but we can do better. With our OST5 update, we're introducing two new note types to enhance how things feel to play. Our first new note type is called an arc. This long beam can be spotted emitting from a standard note and can end up on another note. Don't be intimidated, they are a new friend and instead of you having to follow them strictly, they instead will magnetize towards your sabers. As long as you've hit the starting note, you will play that arc in its entirety. There's no score tied to them, so play them however you like. Arcs just want to enhance your experience. They are generally placed by a mapper when a long sound is wanting to be expressed but they can also help guide you for what your angle and swing should be when playing the next note. Our other new note type is called a chain. This note is a much, much shorter in length and is primarily used to represent sounds that are burst-like in nature. For example, this eight note burst sound would traditionally need to be represented as eight individual notes, or as a saber in a wall, or perhaps by a more imaginative way. Now though, we can represent that sound as an eight length chain with just a single swing. Chains are made up of smaller pieces we call links. The leading link in a chain has an arrow on it, and the remaining links have dots. It is important to hit the arrowed link in the specified direction. The dotted links don't care about direction or even accuracy, just as long as your saber passes through them. Chains come in all shapes and sizes. They can curve, be squished so they are smaller, have differing link counts and can even be splayed over a period of time or all at the same time if the mapper wishes. Arcs have no score tied to them. A further reminder that they are only your friend and nothing more than to enhance your connection to the music. The notes that an arc is connected to though do have their score calculation changed a bit. You see, traditionally a note calculates three things towards its score. Pre-swing, post-swing and accuracy. For demonstration purposes, imagine here that my red saber is a block. Accuracy is how close you hit the note to its center. Pre-swing is how much of an angle your swing is covered before the note is hit. And post-swing is the angle your swing covers after you hit the note. This is why big swings reward more points. If a note is connected to an arc at its beginning, the post-swing is no longer calculated in its score. You only need to worry about accuracy and the pre-swing into the note. If a note is connected to the end of an arc, the pre-swing is no longer calculated in its score. You only need to worry about accuracy and the post-swing out of the note. Scoring related to chains is a bit different. The arrowed link that begins a chain takes into account accuracy and pre-swing, exactly the same as what a note that begins an arc is scored as. Though, instead of the 115 score that any other note in the game can provide, an arrowed link can give a maximum of 85 points. Each dotted link in a chain is worth 20 points. Accuracy and swing angles don't matter to dotted links at all. As long as your saber touches them, you will receive that 20 points. So a chain that contains three links means the maximum score you can receive from it is 125. A chain that contains 10 links could earn you up to 265. If you miss any link in a chain, it will reduce your multiplier, your energy, and even break your combo. So make sure to hit them all. We really hope you enjoy the two new note types and have a lot of fun with them. Any feedback uh, or any thoughts, please provide to us on our socials. Have fun.